Hi, good evening. How are you all? I hope you are doing very well. On the other day, I was talking to my daughter and uh, my little one was talking about that, Daddy, are we going to Malaysia this year? And every year we have a kind of a ritual to go to Malaysia. It usually happens for uh, most of the time for annual conference and we club it up with uh, a holiday. But this year it has been, uh, I would say, stay at home uh, year. I, I landed in India on 13th of April and uh, sorry, 13th of February. And uh, since then I have been here. I think this is the longest time in last 20 years of career. Um, I have stayed at home. So to answer uh, my daughter's question, are we going to Malaysia this year? I would say no, first. But we will be only going, I thought, when, uh, when there is a little bit of a prevailing positivity across uh, media and especially with, uh, with the governments and uh, wherever we are. You know, I think whichever part of the world we are, Presently, I think we need to we need to look a little bit uh, into perspective of uh, of uh, this uh, situation, which is COVID. So the kind of fear marketing which is going on across uh, globe with uh, with COVID situation. Let's look into the data. Let's look into how many people are really getting affected. I read a WhatsApp joke, uh, which was forwarded by somebody. Uh, people are wearing masks in India, especially in my city. People are wearing masks, but uh, they are not carrying the helmets uh, while they are taking the bike. Strange, isn't it? You are, your chances of actually knocking off and, uh, and a spot death is way higher in a road accident rather than you getting across COVID, where the recovery rate is much, much higher than us. First of all, I think media has to stop reporting that today is a brand new day with more numbers. Today is another record numbers. Today is another great numbers. And on the other cross, uh, uh, is government is trying to boost up their testing numbers. And when you try to test up boost up your testing numbers definitely more people are going to be positive uh, but they will recover during the time i think rather than a, a fear of a covid a bigger fear which we need to look in is unemployment do we have a solution for that are we looking forward for unemployment as a bigger disease rather than the COVID because COVID you require definitely a medicine and you require definitely a, a, a vaccine but what is the medicine right now for unemployment and what is the medicine right now what is the vaccine right now for this income crunch the financial crunch which across people are facing you look into social media, you look into WhatsApp, some people are able to tell, some people are not able to tell the situation which they are going through. Going forward, what's the solution which we are looking at? Do we have a solution? That's a question to ask. So what we must do is I think the government should reduce a little bit on testing gradually and we see that more people basically they may have the symptoms but they will also prevail through but get this economical engine get started get this cycle working get the different things which is around us which is giving a hope a revenue generation let that be working very seriously. So, and to answer my daughter's question, yes, I am positive about it. That by end of this 2020, 
definitely we will be visiting Malaysia. Thank you very much. God bless you all.